I'm back home again. We just came back from supermarket. We did huge grocery shopping and I thought I might as well show you the whole grocery haul because we just moved in and lots of people who are looking into moving to Australia from UK, from America, from Europe, from any country, you are curious what are the prices of groceries or what is the cost of living in general. So I thought that this video would be helpful for those of you who are looking to move in here. So yeah, right now I'll show you what we got uh, for $360 Australian. I will try to pop here how does it translate to pounds and American dollars, maybe euros if you're interested in as well. But before we get there, let me show you the sun is about to set it looks so beautiful i still cannot get over the view look at that now it's a little bit later during the day than it was when i first filmed it let it show you but spectacular I just got back in because it was getting so windy and the hair was going all over my face. It's been a long day and very intense day. We left our hotel 9 a.m. this morning. We left quarantine finally and we are free. So we came home and dropped our suitcases, spent some time with our in-laws. When they left, we went to eat and straight for grocery shopping to fill all this um, kitchen and pantry with the things that we might need in upcoming days. And yeah, let me show you what that is. So I laid it out all here. Maybe I start from this side better. So this is all we got for $360 Australian. Here is the super lengthy bill that we have from the shop. And as you can see, here is the price. So I already had to switch to my iPhone because my battery in my camera is about to die i filmed a lot today so i just don't want it to die on me halfway through filming all this and as you can see it's going to be a lot so let me be quick with that as quick as possible so here we have this huge uh, three liter bottle of olive oil some condiments like tamari soy sauce uh, that's gluten free and fish sauce which i can't go without for like cooking i use it all the time and then um, organic sauces for whey, salt and pepper with grinders. I'm used to having such a huge amount of spices and now I have to start building my spices collection from scratch because I don't know if you're aware, you are not allowed to bring any open spices or anything open food-wise into Australia. So I have to buy everything from the beginning and I had such a huge, huge jars back at home. But anyway, my mom will enjoy that. So I have mixed herbs here. And then I have garlic powder and I got some, some basics, only basics that I use every day, turmeric and allspice. They only had grinded, they didn't have the full seeds ones. And coriander seeds and cumin ground seeds. Those are some beef stock cubes. However, I also bought some bone broth, but I don't know where it is now. Two types of mustard, Australian mustard. That that is very yellow that looks very yellow and just a classic mild american mustard garlic mayo traditional mayo no i think that's regular mayonnaise and ketchup which here in australia is called tomato sauce that's how they refer to it uh, some lemon juice and apple cider vinegar i also got huge box of multivitamin chewy gums for me i wanted to get um, some for way but they didn't have men's option i got a big jar of gherkins which are pickled cucumbers i got a rolling pin in case i want to make some dumplings before our the rest of our kitchen stuff will arrive like pots and pans and all the kitchen utensils uh, some watermelon a juice i don't even know what that juice is because we got it uh, orange juice and a huge jack of milk we got this huge batch of japanese short grain rice i love rice and i like to make it japanese style like steamed rice in a multi cooker that is amazing i just love it and you could just make a big batch and you can use it for a couple of days and here i have some canned goods 
um, two cans of tomatoes, peeled tomatoes and some more tomatoes, but diced and corn, yep, yeah, corn kernels in here. Plain flours, if I want to make some dumplings, just sugar, soup mix with grains. Um, a case, no, it's not a case, it's a box of eggs. Oh, here is the bone broth that I was referring to before. It's ready. I never ever bought bone broth. I was always making it from scratch, but I haven't seen any available bones to purchase in here in supermarket. And I imagine that you have to go to the butcher to get it. So that's something to keep in mind if you like to sip on bone broth. You just probably have to purchase ready one or go to the butcher other than doing your regular grocery shopping in the supermarket. Uh, just let me go with veggies first and then I will go back to protein. So two avocados, garlic, bunch of carrots, a whole bag of just regular white potatoes, a whole bag of onions, half a head of cabbage, just baby cute cucumbers, whole bunch of parsley, whole celery head, and this massive chives. No, scallions, look at that. That is huge. They don't have such a huge ones in Europe. Baby leaf salad mix that have a whole bunch of things. Spinach. And now for the protein, I got this huge, um, two big cans of tuna. I haven't seen tuna in that size in Europe either. So that's two big batches. So that's one tuna for like the whole big meal. Uh, the beef one kilo of beef and I think it is one kilo or more I'm not sure of chicken thighs but that's the, the biggest package they have and this is the biggest package they had as well some honey like ham I usually don't eat processed meats and you know that very well because I keep saying that but this is for my husband ricotta cheese for dumplings that I'm planning to make two sticks of garlic butter um, some yogurts with probiotics way really likes that too i just got into temptation I, and got something like this that i actually also never buy this is ready kind of ravioli style i just saw gluten free and i got it for one of those days that you just need a really quick dinner without spending too much time in the kitchen you just open this package and the dinner is ready so that will be handy I also got a bag of fusilli pasta and the huge pasta spirals. They're actually so big in comparison to these small ones. They are so big and those are gluten-free. So I'm happy about that and I'm looking forward to those. And uh, just more spaghetti style gluten-free pasta as well. And here we have some just general household um, things like bean bags and cleaning things, uh, another hand soap, yeah, more cleaning stuff, microfiber cloths, sponges for dishwashing, although we have a dishwasher, but you never know, sometimes you might need to wash something delicate. And here are, what are those? I don't know where I got it. Those are some, some heavy duty uh, foil, I think, and then aluminum foil and baking paper. This is crazy, what is that? Who's going to foil me, wrap me around and foil me up? That's that's huge, 300 meters. I don't know what he's up to, but I don't know if I should start worrying. So that is all that we got for $360 Australian. I don't know how does it uh, translate to the prices of where you are from. Let me know down in the comments what are the prices for this much of food in your countries, in America, in, in UK. I mean, in UK, I know because I used to live there as well. In America, it was a long time ago, but yeah, in general, I'm, I'm curious to know about your grocery shopping because, you know, I love food so much. I love shopping for food and I love cooking a lot. So yeah, food is definitely my love. So that is it for my food haul. Thank you so much for watching. I'll better hurry up and put all of this in the fridge and the pantry before it gets too warm because it's really tropical weather in here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comment what questions do you have about moving to Australia, living in Australia. I will try to answer all of them and yeah, see you in my next one.